individual position in Irish sculpture. And it's very unusual to be in a gallery where people are leaning against the wall. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> are not, are not allowed to, you know, it, the Solomon Gallery is one of the few galleries in Dublin yeah. that has always prioritized sculpture. Mm. It's a difficult medium. The transportation is difficult. Uh, right. Shifting it, uh, buying it, uh, the, the logistics are enormous. And uh, Tara, to your credit, that uh, you have showcased and delivered. Yeah. 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 I mean, the, the stories of Johnny, I mean, we, we think of great, uh, I think, great poets, we think of maybe nice trips out here, there, and everywhere uh, in the summer. Bit of, uh, bit of uh, acceleration. Uh, get out to an island and have a picnic, uh, as it were. The ribs that uh, John is portraying are reflecting the reality of what is happening around us right now. Technically, they are quite amazing, John. I think that the, the, the population of figures, uh, the extremes that the human beings are under, I mean, it reminds me of uh, Jericho's Wrath of the Medusa, and we're all, many of us are familiar with that painting. I mean, this, this, this is the subject of, uh, the, the subject of real art, and many, many of the subjects that uh, real artists of, that are addressing the public realm have uh, addressed and, and have uh, worked with. Um, there's a fantastic reference over there of a Syrian uh, boy uh, which echoes uh, one of Picasso's pieces where he's holding a, a sheet. Uh, there's, there's lots of um, nods uh, to John's immediate predecessors, great painters and great sculptors. And we can't forget as well John is a fantastic painter, a fantastic draftsman. His work is put together in an effortless way. He assembles. He's not He's not a carver, he's an assembler. Uh, his draftsmanship and his painting ability are reflected in his sculpture. He's, if you look at any of his paintings, and I had the pleasure of looking at a book of his tackle this weekend, and uh, it was uh, an Ackel uh, book that he did with uh, John F. Dean, uh, an Ackle oh. Islander. Uh, wonderful images. Uh, the, the lines that hold the figures together, the structure that holds the figures together, is similar to the structures, the lines that are holding these animals, uh, these ships, these iconic uh, images together. Um, I don't want to go on too much other than to say that I've known John since I was a member of the Independent Artists back in the 1980s. Um, he has been a great supporter of younger artists. He has helped artists by opening their exhibitions, by buying their work, by encouraging them in all sorts of ways. Uh, he has, his public service is phenomenal. His contribution to the Arts Council, to the Academy, to Estona. His contribution to sculpture in Ireland is very hard to surpass. He is our greatest sculptor in my estimation. I mean, there's a lot of the, the cycle of life we have here in the form of the bull, the seven, the, the seven cycles of life. We have the young bull, we have the vigorous warrior bull, and we have the bull that's lost everything. Lost eyesight, lost teeth, lost everything. Uh, John Beans, you're somewhere in the middle there. Uh, you're a busy man with a lot to do and a lot more uh, to do. So. Extended family, 
and to all my friends and my colleagues in particular who work in the, the forge of Vulcan along with me. <laughs> <laughs> and they have done such a lot to help me. Without those people, I'd be nothing. So thank you very much, everybody, for your Thank <laughs> you.